Hi everybody, I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2017 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 15. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 15. So this is basically question 15, okay? So this question is testing us on fractions, ratio, and the grouping concept. Okay, so let's read the question first. At a walkathon, each participant completed either a 3km route, a 5km route, or an 8km route. One quarter of the participants completed the 3km route, 9 over 20 of the participants completed the 5km route, and the rest completed the 8km route. For every 1km a participant walked, $4 was donated to charity. A total of $8,208 was donated to charity. Okay, part A. What is the ratio of the number of participants who completed the 3km route to the number who completed the 5km route to the number who completed the 8km route? Okay, so let's highlight the key information until part A. Okay, so at a walkathon, each participant completed a 3km route, 5km route or an 8km route. So one quarter of the participant completed 3km route, 20 of the participants completed a 5km route, and the rest completed the 8km route. For every for every 1km a participant walk, $4 was donated to charity. A total of $8,208 was donated to charity. Okay. So part E, what is the part E? What is the total? What is the ratio of the number of participants who completed, sorry. So, they're asking us the ratio of the participants 3km to 5km to 8km. Okay, so I hope you understand what I've highlighted here. So now let's move on to solving the question for part A. Okay, so first, right, I'm going to draw something like this and I hope you have understood what I've drawn. So, we know that 5km is 9 over 20 participants, right? And 3km is 1 quarter of the participant, right? So, I'm basically going to make the 3km into over 20 for the 1 quarter. I'm going to convert it into the common denominator 20. So, it's 5 over 20. So, now, we do not know the fraction for 8km, right? So, let's find that out. So, 1 whole minus 5 over 20 minus 9 over 20 is 3 over 10. But this 3 over 10 is not the common denominator as over 20. So, I'm going to convert it, which is 6 over 20. So, the fraction for 8km is basically 6 over 20 participants. Okay? So, now it's really easy to find the ratio, right? The total is 20. And then, 8km is 6 units, 5km is 9 units and 3km is 5 units. So basically you can write down the ratio already. So they are asking us 3km is to 5km is to 8km, right? So the answer is basically 5 is to 9 is to 6. So 5 is to 9 is to 6 is the answer for part A. So I hope you understand my explanation for part B. Now let's move on to part B. So let's read the question for part B. What is the total number of participants at the walkathon. So they are asking us the total participant. The total participant is 20 units. Okay, so now this part. First, I'm going to find the total distance walked by one group of people. One group of people, right? I'm going to find this is, I'm going to take this as one group of people. So you could take this 20 units as 20 units or 20 people. So I'm going to take this as one group and then the rest as one group as well. So one group is basically 3km times 5 plus 5km times 9 plus 8km times 6. So it will give us 15km plus 45km plus 48km. So it will give us 108km. So for every 1km, $4 was donated. So for every 108km, how many dollars is donated? So it's basically 108 times 4, right? So it is... $432. So now is where we use the grouping concept. So to find the number of groups, right, I'm going to take $8,208 divided by $432. It'll give us 19 groups. In each group, there's a total of 20 people, right? So I'm going to take 20 times 19. So it will give us 380. So 380 is the answer for part B. Okay, so I hope you understand my explanation for this question, question 15. 
okay and this question is testing us on fractions and ratio and the grouping concept so i hope you have understood my explanation thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye